Subs, people. All right, so we're just going to get right into it. To get your FL Studio to look like this, download the folder that I uh, provided. It's a combination of three different skins. It's the Polarized skin, the Pro Tool skin, and uh, the FL Studio stock uh, steps uh, for the step single string. That. Uh, real quick, I did not create the Pro Tool skin. I did not create the Polarized skin. So me saying that this is the best looking FL Studio skin is really just an honest opinion. Um, I, it's not something that I created and then me saying that my creation is better. So please stop with all that stuff. All right. Now, by default, it's not going to look like this after you download it and install the FL Studio skin. If you don't know how to install an FL Studio skin, read the README or Google how to install an FL Studio skin. It's really not difficult. Um, the first thing you're going to notice is that my toolbars are vastly different than your toolbars. So in order to get your toolbars to look like this, I'm just going to go to view. We're going to unlock it. Your toolbars should be locked in the toolbar dock. I don't like this dock at all because things just never fit. I, I, I can't stand the dock. Um, and it's really just, uh, for lack of better words, ugly. I wish that they could make it a transparent dock. That would be pretty dope. But anyway, I just drag and drop all the tools off of the dock and place it where I find it to be more comfortable for my workflow. Um, I don't place my toolbars on the dock at all. Um, I am a perfectionist, so I do need to get this on there perfectly. Okay, after I get it on there, so we'll just do that. Yeah, uh, so none of this stuff at the bottom is on the dock. Um, none of the toolbars are on the dock. The only problems that occurred for me is that if you're changing your theme with the toolbars not being on the dock, you can lose your toolbar and you have to reinstall FL Studio. So, if you're going to change your theme, just make sure you put your toolbars back on the dock. If you don't trust it being like this, just keep your toolbars on the dock. Um, other than that little hiccup, um, nothing's changed. Every time I open up an FLP, all my toolbars are the same. So, um, it's all good. Uh, after you get your toolbar set up um, and you don't want to move it, just go to View Toolbars Lock. So, it locks in place so you can't drag it anymore. All right. Now the playlist color, your playlist color is going to be different. I forgot the default FL. I think it's like purple or gray. Uh, you're going to go to view grid color and just copy these settings. Pause the video, copy those settings so you can get it this light grayish color. Um, now these track icons are track. I don't know what you want to call them. I guess you can just call them track lanes. Um, these can be colored whatever color you want to. I have a picture where they're all colored uh, this blue color. And um, I have another picture where they're colored the default gray color. Default gray color is by far better, um, at least on the eye. Some people are saying the blue was hurting their eyes. I like them both, um, to be quite honest. But you can have them any color you want to. So, it, you know, if you're real picky, just click on a color and pick, you know, any color that you want. Um, now, uh, the toolbars, one, 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 one more time about the toolbars, all this stuff is interchangeable. You do not have to have it uh, with this type of layout. You don't have to have the toolbars at the bottom. You can have all these toolbars stacked up on each other over here, which is uh, one way to do it. Actually, it might not look that bad, to be honest with you. You can have everything on, um, on the right side, everything on the top. Uh, really depends on where you want to put it. So for people saying that it's going to take a long time for them to get used to it is ridiculous because it's going to be as complicated as you make it because it is drag and drop. Uh, now I'm going to have a link in the description on how to get your VSTs in the browser. Uh, FL Guru has a good video about that. Um, now I changed uh, one thing because I wanted my browser to be a drag and drop type feature. So I went to generators. Uh, window shell menu open and I went to synthesizers deleted everything and I renamed one of the folders all and I just put every VST synth that I use in my projects in the all folder so I can just have it as a, a drag and drop it's almost like a persona studio one type feel but this is a lot better because you get a picture in the name which is pretty damn dope and I also have that with my effects all here yep 
The only thing that sucks is that you can't put Waves on there. Uh, because Waves has the their own little bridge. Or, or their own VST rapper or something like that. Their own VST rapper and the rapper comes up black. So that sucks pretty much. Mm. Yup. Um, the next thing to change is the piano roll. Uh, this is how I have my piano roll set up, which is pretty damn sexy. You gotta admit, man. Come on. Uh, drop down menu, grid, view, grid color. Copy those settings if you want it that color. You can pick your own color, it doesn't really matter. After you get that, I have my MIDI notes default at blue. Select all, and they're on blue. Just save the pre. Uh, I'll show you guys how to save save it as a default uh, template. Uh, but if you don't want it blue, you can have it uh, the default is green. You can have it yellow, uh, Alt C, or select all drop down menu. I think it's edit. There you go. Edit change color. There you go. The yellow doesn't look bad either. But I like that blue actually. And that's really all, you guys. Um, really, everything you have to know to have this set up. Um, yep, that's about it. Uh, one thing that I do want to note, just in case there are developers watching this, uh, one thing that I really love about this is how easy it is for me to switch between the playlist and the piano roll. It's a full page doc, and it just looks perfect. So I was hoping that uh, maybe in the updates you guys will be able to do a, a full page meter or full page uh, mixer doc and step sequencer doc. Um, but the option to also have it as a floating window. Because uh, me just switching between these, will just, it, it's just so much time uh, or it's so much better with the workflow. Another thing is I love having the names on the, um, the MIDI like this. I love it looking like that. So I've also resized. It would be dope if it stayed in that same type of uh, look with the name on over top of the uh, the window. And I guess the MIDI data the MIDI data has an overlay over it, or is a little bit more transparent. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, everything is going to be linked in the description. So you know, download everything, look up everything, then you can install everything. It's not really difficult. All right. Thank you guys again for watching and more videos should be coming soon. Also more videos about other dolls as well. Some other dolls, maybe. All right, people. Have a good one.